you will have no power over me if it had not been given to you from above. This is the answer that Jesus did to Pilate when Pilate said to him, But answer me, do you know that I have the power to put you to death or to save you? It is in the Gospel according to St. John in chapter 9 verse 11. Thus that means that Jesus recognized that it was God, the one above who would have delivered him to Pilate. I think it's essential to understand this is something that in the 21st century right now is often rejected by the theologians or by people. Because when they are delivered to misfortunes, they say to themselves, I cannot not come from God all the same. When we look at the realism of the Bible from the book of Job, we see that everyone knows that God is all-powerful. And therefore, if something happens to us, we are delivered to our enemies to particular circumstances. Fundamentally, and as a primary cause, we must go back to God. Certainly, we are right to look at the own responsibilities that we can have, our own mistakes, to the mistakes of others, the relentlessness of others. But God willing, a word that, for example, takes us from the greatest glory to the greatest downfall, because it was spoken at the wrong time, it escaped us, God could prevent it. It is therefore to God that the question must be posed as the primary cause. It can prevent anything that blocks our life. It remains to be seen why God allows this. And usually we say to ourselves, God is love. He cannot allow that since I will not allow myself that for my children. God is love, but God is also a father, a father who educates his children to make them adults concerning eternal salvation. And we are just like a little child. We will rush to candy immediately, and our father is there. He said, that's enough now. He won't eat anymore. We often have, we look at the present moment, the idea of thinking that this father does not love us. We understand later it the same way if God allows certain misfortunes which strike our life, the answer we have it in the internal life. In a full way, there we see how much it educated our art. So now, if I repeat the sentence of Jesus to Pilate, you will have no power over me if it had not been given to you from above. Therefore, he would deliver me to your bears greater sin. Who delivered Jesus to Pilate? He speaks of a sin. One can say to himself, he says of Judas or of the high priests. And it is the immediate meaning that comes. It is obvious that the responsibility of Pilate in this it, it is accidental and that the direct cause are men who wanted the death of Jesus. But there is another way to read it. He who delivered me to you bears a greater sin. That can mean God who allowed me to be delivered to you bears the sin that you are going to commit. Attention. Let's get along well. I'm not saying that God sins. God doesn't sin. This is not what I just said. There, It is a very clear benchmark. God does only good for our good, but that I mean that Pilate is going to sin, is going to commit a sin, a sin out of cowardice, out of weakness, and in a indescribable situation, namely that he would like to save Jesus, his wife had warned him it, that it was unjust, but he cannot. Because he is in a dilemma, he will choose between quotation marks the less evil. It is not the slightest evil to deliver an innocent person to hypothetically save the people who accuse him. But by doing so, when he arrives at the hour of death before God, God will make himself his advocate and will take upon him the sin of witness or, and, or ignorance that he had committed. He will not make Pilate guilty, it will be too heavy to carry, so he would make himself his advocate by saying, you were put in a particular circumstance, you did in your cowardice, in your sin, what you thought you should do. 
ask forgiveness for a sin but i take the share on me the part that was this situation that's what that means and so when we say that god takes our sin on him it's real only a sin he doesn't take it on himself when we keep it facing him at the hour of death obstinately what is called blasphemy against the holy spirit there he cannot take it upon himself the person is completely in control of himself in hell she's free she wants to stay there and it's her choice